for like the first 20 seconds because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so in who's, I was trying to, <laughs> I was desperately trying to rearrange my room, um, or rearrange where I sit for the podcast um, because, like I mentioned before, I do all this in my room. So everything you were seeing <laughs> behind me is like my clothes and like my unmentionables and all this other stuff so I'm like maybe that's like not a good look to have you know behind me so I'm like if I rearrange it facing this way you'll have Snoop and Tupac versus my clothes but evidently it still doesn't work because you can still see some stuff so keep in mind for those of you who watch my lives and not um you know not, not do the audio that's just what it is because I do all this stuff myself at home so um I'm just trying to trying to um one step at a time basically is what I'm trying to say so welcome <laughs> welcome 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 to another episode of Pure Sessions with your girl Lana and this is episode 25 now um for those of you who are watching the lives I'm I turn this way because I have um Instagram live over here and I turn back this way because I have YouTube live over here so I'm doing this don't think I'm like <laughs> talking to somebody it's just don't want to um you don't want to not look at the camera when you're talking you can help it I am a little shy and this is actually helping doing these podcasts live because it's kind of like you know a little bit like bring my shyness out into I guess the real world so to speak um you know even though it's just me talking it still is not challenging but I know from where I am now from now from where I was at the beginning of the episodes last year a little bit better you know, I'm trying to get better on you know the eye contact and that's still a, that's still a thing for me so yeah so this is episode 25 and you can catch the live episodes as well as the audio version episodes um, of the podcast every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's available live to watch my um, YouTube page which is on Pure and live to watch on my Instagram page, which is Lana Pure's Corner. And you can find all the episodes under my um, IG stories. As well as with the audio, if you know if you're moving and grooving and you can't sit down and watch, you can find it on you know Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, uh, Pocket Tune, Beaker, and I think a couple others. That's, that's the reason I like to use Anchor. Anchor is kind of like a hit and miss sometimes. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. I'm glad it does today. But the one thing I like about Anchor is you can be on that platform and then as soon as you hit, you know, go live and publish, it distributes distributes it to all those places I just mentioned, like Apple, uh, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, Google Podcasts, um, Beaker Pocket Tune. So it was one service does all that for you versus you, you know, being on 20 different platforms and kind of does it for you. And that's the one thing I like about it as well as um, when I do my music, I use um, DistroKid. And that distributes to all the platforms of music streaming, Heart IR Radio, Amazon, Google Play, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, you know, blah, blah. So, you know, it has its give and take. But yeah, so I do have two pages. I always mention this. I, always, I have two pages on Instagram, Line and Pure, and Line and Pure's Corner. Same picture, same same name, so you'll be able to find me. But on Line and Pure's Corner, I've been trying to build up this um, page, giving it some TLC. So I do all my podcasts on here, but for Lana Pure's page, I um, have, you know, my music, my streams and stuff like that. So I mentioned last week, my project that came out, Experience and Misinterpreters, came out on Valentine's Day. So that's out now. I'm excited about that. So definitely go stream that. You can find all the info in my bio on my website, uh, LEP, www.lepentertainment.com. So you can find all the jazz and all the stuff there. And I update the website periodically so i'll have different music different new things i'm working on um but right now the main thing is uh the project uh experience and interpreter so excited about that the feedback the feedback that i've been getting from it like i mentioned last week it's good people seem to be uh vibing with it i was kind of shy i wasn't sh not shy but i was kind of hesitant to kind of dive out of what I normally make which is you know trance upbeat dance you know pop techno music and this is more of like chill hip hop tra uh, trippy hip trippy pop trippy hip hop there we go and kind of like a neo soul vibe so trying something new trying something different so the feedback has been good 
Now, um, the reason, also, I, I meant to mention this last week, but the reason why I kind of do more so like a close-up of the podcast versus like, you know, having the computer and the camera like away on the table is, you know, it's a little more personal when you're, not like up in your face, but where it's kind of like, you can kind of feel that connection of it being more close than versus you like yelling and screaming like across the table. Because they can see, people who are watching can see, you know, your reaction and, you know, they feel like you're talking to them specifically, not just randomly so yeah and i actually was today sunday so from last sunday to this sunday i've been walking every day you know doing my arms walking slight jogging a little bit and i think every day i've been doing two and a half to like 2.57 miles so i feel good my legs a little bit tired so if i sound if my voice sounds a little like mm, flat tone that is um flat rates with me that is why I just came back from the run like a half an hour ago so I'm kind of just like I had my juice had my water you know I always gotta have the water and hydrate I've been using drinking excuse me uh Voss you know the one that uh Dwayne Dwayne Dwight Howard does so I've been drinking that it's very very you know all the waters kind of taste the same to me I guess there's something different in each I don't I don't know I try all of them but this one I kind of really like so Voss I would check that out CVS has it I guess it has the hydrolytes and things in it but you know, I definitely do feel good. I feel tired. You know, my heart's not like out here now. It's more so like here. <laughs> so I'm trying to get to the, to the point where I don't feel like my heart's going to just fly out my, my chest. And it's actually going to be like, okay, we're working out every day. This is what we're doing. We're cool now. It's like my, my body and my heart and my mind and my legs are not like on the same page. It's like I know I want to work out every day and stay healthy and, and you know, moving. But my legs are like, but we were used to shashing and walking slow. And then my heart is like, well, I'm not used to all this, you know, movement. So what's going on? And then, and then my, my arms are kind of like, we're just here. So <laughs> eventually the dynamic of my body and the dynamic of what's happening will be, will be on track. So bear with me. Cause I was talking to one of my girlfriends, like two weeks ago I and mean, this is kind of like an on and off conversation and I was telling her you know I'm just not happy with how I look and how I feel and I feel sluggish I feel blah you know with COVID and being inside doing the same thing you know every day kind of you kind of fall into that lackadaisical type of vibe and with me like I know people who don't have to work out and stay in shape or who can eat who eat a lot of food like four or five meals a day or snack and don't gain a pound they just I guess have a higher metabolism but I'm I'm not that person. <laughs> I try. It just doesn't work. It just sits there. And the issue or the thing that I've always had is mostly my arms, as you can see, and um, my stomach. I have little love handles, as you can see. Um, and it's really that was really all it was, like just some toning here and there. But I'm one of those people, even before the pandemic, I'm one of those people who like fast results. <laughs> like I need to like be in shape like tomorrow or like next week, like two weeks max but that's it same with um skincare you know I, I have a pimple here i've been trying to get rid of it but the bitch don't want to go away excuse my language is sunday forgive me lord the pimple doesn't want to go away and i recently like last year stopped wearing makeup because my issue would be i would wear the makeup but i guess i wasn't taking it off properly or i wasn't cleaning my face properly so the po my pores were getting clogged and i was getting blackhead and stuff like that and i'm like i'm 27 and i shouldn't have all these pimples i don't like, I don't understand what's happening. Like, we need to come to a conclusion so we can figure this out. And I would use all different products, Neutrogena, um, uh, was it different um, ponds, soap and water, the old-fashioned way. Um, and then I came to Proactive, and I always get mad when I see these commercials because I'm like, it doesn't work. Now, it probably does work because obviously they're selling, people are losing these pimples. But for me, it just didn't work because my face is weird it's like it's oily but it's dry but it's sensitive but it's not i don't understand like I, there's no product that has like 20 things that i need and then it has too much silicic acid but then it doesn't have enough so it's just like i don't understand it's like trying to find tampons in the store there's like 400 of them and they all say the same thing but you don't know which one to get so i got frustrated with i'm like why do i still have acne so i cut off sodas and i would say this every year but i officially cut out sodas officially last year so like i i may drink one but i'll never finish it before i would always be drinking sodas two three four times a day because i would just be doing it but now the taste of it it's just like yeah so 
with the weight with the with the working out i'm like i don't see anything granted when i was talking to my girlfriend i'm like i don't do anything <laughs> i walk but the walk i was doing before this walk was just like a regular walk it wasn't really like moving your legs and your arms stuff like that so I'm more so doing that now so it's, it's help it's helping i feel a little better i count my steps and measurement stuff like that because i'm not really a big person I, I mean i'm not really a person who really likes how they look so you know you want to do a change about it and if you notice on um, pages like instagram and youtube i do a lot of face shots <laughs> i think i rarely do periodically if i lose weight or i feel good or whatever or a new cute shirt i'll do a body a body shot but i don't because you know I'm just not comfortable yet with how i look there are people who get to the point where they're like okay this is how i look this is what it is i'm gonna embrace it for me i'm just i'm like i'm not there yet i'm slowly getting there but i'm like not there yet and i think with the person who's not there yet putting um themselves out on social media is probably not a good look because the feedback may not be what you want to hear and i'm one of those people who you know still working on it one of those people who don't really take well to criticism whether it's good or bad i'm like shut up you know what i'm talking about get in my face so i'm like nah but I, I, I'm trying to embrace, you know, my, my weight, trying to embrace, you know, how I look. It's not ideal, but the fact that I'm actually trying to do something and not um, t just talk about it, you know, I guess it's, it's a step in the right direction, you know, slowly progress, progressing to get to where I would like to be. And it's not that I want to be like a toothpick because my body type doesn't work because I'm tall. It just doesn't really work with that. But, you know, I think especially with COVID and being in the house for what? this year or whatever like that i just don't think it's healthy to not move you know like at all like there needs to be some you know blood flowing and since i'm not going to the gym because <laughs> it's covid this doesn't make sense you gotta do what you gotta do outside now granted it's much better now because um the weather is changing um you know you always say you want that summer vibe not like there's anything to do now because of covid but starting now and then eventually, hopefully in like a week or two or so, I can get to jogging actually and moving some stuff, you know, so slowly but progressively. So yeah, I do, um, I, I, as you see, I, or if, if not see in this episode, but with my other episodes, I wear a lot of dark colors, a lot of, like, a lot of neutral colors, but you know, I'm just trying to get comfortable with how I look in other people's eyes, if it makes sense. Like I know i'm not at where i should be so i'm trying to do something about it if that makes sense so it's not ideal all of this but i'm happy with what it is now and i'm willing and wanting and, and, and going to make a change so that's really what it boils down to you know what i'm saying so uh now that i talked about something completely irrelevant to this topic of <laughs> this episode let's get to the episode if my listeners know i always rant for the first 13 minutes and then i actually get into the topic for the last bit now i know i keep saying this um for those of you who listen uh you know every week that i try not to make it i try not to make the episodes too long like the past three weeks each episode has been over an hour and some change and that thing i mentioned last week is uh anchor it only allows you to record in increments so only 30 minutes and then you gotta stop and start all over again so <laughs> i'm gonna try my best to not have this three parts um i don't mind like i said it depends on what i'm talking about like it, i may have a lot to say but certain things you know like in the beginning they would be like maybe 20 minutes max 30 minutes max and again it's just me here so after a while i get a little winded <laughs> it's not like i have you know anybody to talk to it's just me doing all the com conversing and you know as much as i love to hear myself talk i, I can do without my voice sometimes that's just me so today's episode's titled is chivalry dead and originally i was going to have a title or originally the topic that i was going to talk about was um depression but um i didn't want like i didn't really know how to go about that because i didn't want to step on toes i didn't want to say the wrong thing because there are all people who you know what i'm saying deal with that and have that you know and i've had i've had doubts of doubts i've had um what is it sprouts that from time to time so you know certain topics i don't want to touch once you get all the facts of what you're talking about because you don't want to say the, the wrong thing because you don't know who's listening you know what i'm saying so with with each episode like i mentioned before i don't really have like an agenda i'm talking about like case in point with today i just talk about something completely different <laughs> i'm talking about this so i kind of try to uh, 
try to stay or stick with things I know and that's like a neutral conversation neutral topic and the breath and depression topic is is heavy I mean everything is not sunshines and rainbows but it is a heavy topic and I didn't want to have this a downer because I didn't really know you know what I'm saying like what angle um that I wanted to come from so I'm like let me just you know find something else you know you can talk about it but I didn't want to have the whole episode on that you know I am so like I said I'm still figuring this whole podcast whole recording doing your own thing out so bear with me um and so yeah so this episode now <laughs> is entitled the shiver shiverly dead it's a tricky world tricky word shiverly shiverly anyway <laughs> so I mean that's like a neutral thing for me I I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's un- it's it's very uncommon to see, unfortunately, nowadays because men are so beaten and broken down and so battered that they don't even want to give, I guess, that side of them to people. Granted, it comes from society, comes from social media, comes from past relationships, comes from just life. And for me, you know, I think I met maybe one person in my life of, of, of dating, the, the life of dating that you know actually did the pulling out the chair and, and opening doors and standing up when you enter and leave and all that fun jazz and doing poems and poetry but then you know how females are and, and, and i know i was one of them we kind of sabotaged that we kind of like well, why are you doing that that's weird like this is not 1950 what are you doing but at the same time we're not really realizing that <laughs> this is actually how we're supposed to be treated as a female we're so used to you know like I said it's not nothing nobody's fault but it's just how social media and, and, and the television and life portrays relationships they think you know if you're nice and you're a sweet guy and you pull out the chairs and you do flowers and candies and you remember dates and anniversaries that you're a sucker you know that you're weak that you're lame but actually there are some people I like to believe that actually like that that nice you know the nice guy finish last type of thing you know there's nothing wrong with having you know being treated like a queen being treated equally being treated you know with the respect that you deserve because we're always asking for it you know we're always saying well I wish I had a man that did this I wish I had a man that actually listened I wish I had a man that actually took the time to care about my feelings and do something different not just the norm or be spontaneous and take me out on dates and not just go to the same place or you know have a man that you know pays you know for the first day or two not you know me always paying and me always feeling like other couples are doing better things you know like i mentioned maybe two episodes ago with relationships and that stuff we're always comparing our relationship and our boyfriends and girlfriends to other couples that we see whether it's social media couples or it's actually friends of couples and stuff like that and I always said you can't really compare what you're seeing, what's being shown to you or portrayed to you in, you know, when you're around because you don't know what happens behind closed doors. You don't know what happens. You don't know what it took for them to get to where they are, where they are being nice, where they are being sweet, where he is buying flowers and candy, being attentive. It's just work, you know. A relationship, any kind of relationship, is work. It's a give and take. It's a two people type of deal unless you go that other route. But we're you can't always compare you can't always think that that's the whole picture unless it's like a perfect perfect relationship there's no issues no arguing no nothing but you can't always not it doesn't always sound bad but like fall into the trap of wanting and longing the desire to have what other people have because what works for them does may not work for you and your significant other that's just my two cents when it comes to um comparing your relationship to other relationships when you're so busy um, comparing other people's relationships to what you don't have and you're missing out on what it is because you're so busy saying well why can't you do this or why don't we do that or you know, you never do enough of this or I always feel like this and then it's not really you know a relationship per se it's more so you're just complaining of what you're not doing and or what they're not doing but at the same time I think I mentioned this I think three weeks ago in the other episode but what are you doing at the same time oh I remember it was a Valentine's Day episode what are you doing at the same time? We're always you're always complaining that you know they don't take you out, they don't surprise you, they don't remember your anniversary, they don't buy you gifts, you know they don't treat you well, blah blah blah. But we're just saying you don't do this, you don't do that, you don't do this, you don't do that. But what are you doing? You as the person, you the female, doing all the complaining. What are you actually doing instead of just 
you know, complain that what they're not doing. It may not be to your liking of what you want done. They could be doing it in a different way. But if all you're doing is just complaining and saying what what they're not doing, how is that fair? Because, and I mentioned this too, it's the same thing if it was reversed. If, if the woman is doing all this stuff and taking care of you and doing all these things, that you know, good girlfriend should be doing, good wife should be doing, but the man is not doing anything, then what's the point of complaining if you're not also going to put, you know, your two cents in? That's really what I mean. So with the top, the title that came to me uh, with the issue really dead, I've been asked that before. I've been wondering, is it dead or is it not? Is that a thing people do that? Is that kind of like a older generation thing? Because this new generation, i.e. my generation, you know, in the 20s and late 20s, and then the younger generation, which is like the 18, 19 year olds, I don't really see it. Like, I, I feel like, <laughs> it sounds so bad, but I feel like everybody is so battered and jacked up and jaded that I don't even think they have the capacity to even want to um, do those nice things for the female because it usually always backfire, backfires or they don't even have the mental capacity to want to, you know, essentially be that knight in shining armor type of dude because whenever they had done that in the past, they, uh, they, they've they always got, you know, screwed over. They're doing it and, you know, the, the man is treating them well and then like six months down the line, the woman is like cheating on you or... The man is taking you out, buying you flowers, doing all the nice things you want because, you know, he actually listens. But at the same time, you're talking to somebody else. Or the man is always, you know, by, um, treating you well, taking you out, you know, doing what you want. Just literally catering to you, worshiping you, you know, treating you like a queen. But then six, seven, eight months down the line, you're with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's usually the cases that I've heard when men, or even sometimes females, but we're talking about men now. When men do the nice do the nice or when men be that guy that you see on tv or shows or movies or whatnot and then it always backfires backfires nine times out of nine it always backfires because i think people females i should say i think aren't in my opinion aren't used to um getting that type of treatment without there being an underlining um response by that i mean we're so as females we're so jaded and screwed up and messed over and hurt that we think that they're doing all these nice things that they're actually listening that they're actually wanting to you know treat us well and treat us like the queens we are that there must be a reason behind that like he must want something in return like he's not doing this um because he wants to and he actually wants to get to know me and actually wants to treat me like i'm supposed to be treated there has to be a reason behind it there has to be like, he must be wanting, you know, sex behind her. He must be wanting, you know, threesome. Or he must be wanting to just break up with me in, like, three days. You know, we're never, like, comfortable enough where, where we see this happening. And it's like, oh, this is nice. This is new. This is different. I can deal with it without thinking. You know, unfortunately, it's not our fault. It's just what society has done to us. And relationship, relationships have done to us in the back of our mind the whole time while they're doing these things. We're like, well, what does he really want? What, who is he really talking to? He can't just be doing this to me. This is this 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 can't be. This is not a thing. This is twenty twenty one, and you know he's 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 twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and he's actually treating me well. He's actually taking me out. He's actually you know buying buying paying for dinner. I don't have to always feel like I'm paying. You know he's actually respectable and and whatnot. But there must be a reason behind it, and it sucks because the two or three gems of those type of guys that are here they get also screwed over because the females and like i said earlier it's no fault against us it's just what life has given to us in relationships that we screw them over because we're like well, you can't be doing this without you know uh, a backup <laughs> like you can't be doing this without a reason like there has to be a reason so we're literally bypassing and seeing and not even noticing all the nice niceties and all the the sweetness and all the hugs and kisses and flowers that you lose out on the good guy you lose out on the person who wants to you know essentially wear his his um emotions on his sleeve that we sabotage it whether it's intentionally unintentionally subconsciously unsubconsciously that's what we do as humans like i said whether it's male or female but right now we're talking about um males we sabotage it because we think if we sabotage it we you know cut off at the knees that they can't hurt us that they can't you know get us in the end like we always feel like 
I feel like in this society, in this generation, I should say, that there, like I said, there is a reason why you're being this nice. Like, have you not met the rest of the millennials? Like, nobody is this nice for no reason, you know? And it's it loses sight of uh, what's what could blossom, you know, into something beautiful, into something long-lasting, because that's what we want. You know, longevity, longevity. <laughs> that's what we want. We want somebody to um, be with forever. That's really essentially what you're thinking when you go into a relationship. You're not just going into a relationship. Unless it's a certain relationship. But essentially, you're going into a relationship on the male side and the female side to be with that person forever. That's the goal. You're not just, you know, with the person because it's a Tuesday. You're with the person because you want to grow with them and thrive and do things and build and, you know, have legacies and blah, blah, blah. So, no, you don't want to <laughs> go into it and waste your time if it's not going to benefit you at the end. Now, granted, like I said, every situation, every body is different. But, and this is my advice to the females out there and the men, if there is, if they're, if they are doing good and if there is those nice females and those nice men or those sweet men and females, I would hold on to them because they're rare. Like I said, there's maybe two, three gems of those types um left i think and it's it's sad because we can't we can't really see that they're actually doing it genuinely versus we're thinking that they're doing it to you know get us in the end like oh if i do this if i break up with them if i get them back or if i do something that's you know so heinous first then they can't get me you know i'm not gonna look stupid that's the thing i feel like we're always trying not to do in this generation is to look stupid obviously you know nobody wants to look stupid but I think we're so jaded and we're so hurt and we're so, you know, been troubled on, troubled, troubled on that we can't see that, <laughs> you know, this person is actually a good guy. This person actually, you know, wants to just, you know what I'm saying, be with you and treat you well because he's doing, you know, what you ask. And sometimes the good guys, they listen. They want to treat you well. They want to do what you ask. They want to do the flowers and the candy and the sweetness and the hearts and the lovey-dovey and stuff like that. They want to treat you. There are some people who believe in the old, what's it called, the old-fashioned way of treating women. It may not be putting your, their jacket in a puddle so you can cross the street, but <laughs> if they're opening the doors and if they're holding the chairs out, and it's rare. I haven't seen any men that I've dated stand up when I enter and when I leave. Like, I think, no. So... When that happens, you know, it's 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 something, you know, that you want to hold on to, I, would, I, I believe, you know, that's my two cents with that. <laughs> but yeah, so with, um, on, like right now on Anchor, it's like 28 minutes and 20 seconds in, so I usually, if I'm going to do two parts, I will stop talking, like I say, 29 minutes and like 50 seconds, because, you know, I have to stop it and then start it all over, start it again to, you know, to record, because... <laughs> it was just cut off and then I'm just talking on, on here and on air and then you can't hear anything. So I usually, you know, wrap up what I'm saying in that sentence in the last minute or so and then, you know, go on to the next topic. But until that time, which is almost right now, I hope everybody's had, um, you know, great Sunday so far. We're actually in March. Um, you know, still COVID, <laughs> unfortunately, but we are approaching uh, spring, I think, next week, the 14th, I think. I don't, I don't remember but was it the time goes forward or back i don't know i never get it right but whatever the, it is the it's, it stays light around so that's good and these days i don't know where you guys are if you're in jersey these days are so nice it's like 45 50 but i'll take that over snow and rain any day because february was just, just a disrespectful month that I, I don't even know what that even was but I definitely say try to get out there. I try to get out there with my walks and my runs between like 12 and 2. Because after that, it gets a little cold, at least for me. I mean, there are people out there until like 5 o'clock. But I try to get out in the peak hours, you know, of of the the sun. <laughs> get that vitamin D, you know. So it's about to end on Anchor. So I'm going to stop it on here and then we'll pick back up part under. So I try to keep talking, at least on the lives. So it's not just me just staring, you know. So, let's see. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so with, um, let me just get a couple of some water. Yeah, I always feel so weird 
and I always feel so awkward taking a sip of water or taking a sipping, sip of tea or coffee or juice or whatever when I'm um, when I do the podcast because like I said I'm also doing the audio so like people who are listening like what's that coping sound you so I'm like it's just me sipping I'm just dying slowly it's okay and like I said it's I never knew how much it took I guess out of you with the saliva because you get dry mouth after talking for, for so long it's been what uh, half an hour or so so I'm like womp but yeah so this topic I mean I've been trying to you know like I mentioned a couple weeks ago get people on you know virtually of course to have on the podcast because I feel that's what I wanted to do or the goal of doing um the podcast live was also you know to get more people to listen and watch you know because some people don't want to do the audio some people are more of like a visual person and I felt it's more personable when you can see the reactions of whatever you're talking about with the person because I've been watching and listening to other podcasters or potters or whatever you want to call it and some of them do have just the audio or the video and some do just have um the audio but I guess it really depends on you know what you're discussing discussing okay don't just me discussing like there are some just audio books and there's some just like health books a podcast but I think with this podcast a specific podcast period of sessions I feel like since every topic is more universal and neutral and it's a different type of topic every week and I'm just rambling about different things I feel like um the video the the lives help more with my point getting across if that makes sense because before when I was doing the podcast last year I was just um, reading off my book each chapter. Each chapter I would read a week of my book that I published. But with this one, which was like the new year, new me kind of thing I did for 2021, it's more of generic topics, neutral topics. It was like a Valentine's Day special one I did. I did um, emotional boundaries one episode. I did um, it's okay being alone episodes. So it's kind of like more so uh, not a, like a class teaching thing, but I feel like, I don't know, you can just grow and you can just expand if it's, you're, you're using all your, you're using your platform, you know, in more ways than just one. You know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with just having the audio, but, you know, I feel like with now, since everybody's home, since everybody's inside, since everybody's on social media, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with, you know, checking off more dots and checking off more boxes so people can see and listen and stuff like that. And it also builds up uh, your page. You know builds up your brand essentially because you know we're not out and about you're not networking you're not going to events to network and you know physically see people this is kind of like the way to do it now unfortunately nothing wrong with it but it's like with covid this is just what is so i believe hi how you doing let me just say hi yeah that's the thing i like about uh instagram live i don't know i haven't figured it out on youtube but you can turn on the comments and keep them on somehow they're turned off on youtube i don't really know how that happened but we'll we'll figure it out but um yeah so i try to <laughs> sometimes i get a little winded myself when i'm talking so long like i said it's been 33 minutes and i mean granted there are people who can do lectures for hours but like i said it's just me so i'm more so um what do you call it more so it's just me I guess really discussing what's on my mind, discussing what's on my brain, my heart, my soul, trying to purify what's going on. That's the real reason why I kind of like essentially created Pure Sessions because before it was just called um, Lana and Pure's podcast or the podcast of Lana and Pure. I was trying to still figure out the name because like I said, I'm still learning, you know, the ins and outs of doing your own business, essentially. And when, with the new year and how I was feeling about social media last year, because I was off it, and I'm still off it now. I'm only on it once a week to do the podcast or to distribute and, and promote some music, my music. Um, so I was still trying to figure out the name, what I want to do with it. And when I changed my name to Line and Pure, I was like, oh, Line and Pure sounds saucy, sounds jazzy. I'm like, hmm, maybe I, can, maybe I could, um, you know, add a little pizzazz to it. So I kind of put like Pure Sessions. So it's kind of like, not like a rap session, but it's kind of like a relaxing vibe, environment type of, type of, um, type of way I'm trying to work it. Because I do it every Sunday, do it a Sunday evening. So it's kind of like a mellowed out 
way to end your day or to start your week or you know to have listening in the background wh however you're listening to it whether it's like on your phone or you're watching IG live or um what else what, what else is this on YouTube <laughs> or the podcast like I said uh, I kind of try to make it kind of like a relaxing vibe but you know it's Sunday it's Lord's Day and it's the end of the week and with with uh, COVID all these days and messing together <laughs> meshing together so it's like oh my god so I try to keep more of like a welcoming homey vibe so you can just relax and vibe out and stuff like that so I don't know I just I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying I'm working I'm trying this is what I'm doing I'm doing something you know I'm doing something different I do have um what was it maybe next two three weeks special special I guess special guest essentially um for my podcast so I'm excited about that I'm just trying to like count all my ducks in a row check all my my stuff and things like that so bear with the sister um but yeah so in my experience because I always try to speak on what I know and what I see in my life experience and things like that and not just be rambling like I do in my experience there are some few like and I've spoken to um some girls and I always ask do you prefer the guy who's kind of more of like take charge kind of guy or a guy who kind of like lets you be your own person granted we should all be um well we should all <laughs> be our own person but but I mean there's like there are people who have like you know certain types different types of guys some type of girls you know you like this you like that you like this you like that and then there's like deal breakers and there's like no brainers and there's like things you just won't budge on so i've spoken to some people way before i was doing the podcast you know just in life and i was asking um people like what kind of guy do you like or what kind of guy do you prefer or what kind of guy would you like stay away from and a lot of people kind of said they like you know the sweet guy but he kind of has like an edge to him or the bad boy guy but he's also smart and respectful and then some people said they like the nerd who's kind of like shy and then some people said they kind of like a guy who takes charge you know but at the same time it's like but what heck like how far like how not basically like how far are you willing to go with their personality you know what i'm saying like it, you can have a guy who's like sweet and shy and timid but then that's all there is to him there's nothing wrong with that because there are some shy people out there i'm shy but there's like what else is there to you <laughs> that makes sense it sounds bad but it's like there are some people who only give like this much in a relationship and there's people who give this much in a relationship and there's some people who give this much which is nothing and if you want a guy who kind of like that take charge kind of guy kind of like plans everything kind of like does everything who kind of like is not controlling kind of like that guy then that's the guy for you. But at the same time, you can't <laughs> be saying you want this guy to take charge, this guy to plan everything, this guy to do this, and then saying, well, how come I can't like have my own free mind? Or how come I can't you know, be my own person? They're doing their own thing, saying like to this other couple, they're doing their own thing. They do things differently. They're doing spontaneous. You know, he's pulling out his, his chair, her chair for him. You know, they're doing cute little couple things. And it's like, I mentioned earlier when you are doing when the guy is doing that chivalry thing when the guy is being that knight in shining armor mess and we do have it like we, we do essentially have that guy we're like oh nobody does it anymore or oh I don't want that you're kind of whack or oh who does it that's weird it's like you kind of <laughs> you kind of have to pick and choose what side of the lane you're going to be on if you want the guy to be that night in shining armor to pull up the chairs to stand when you enter to be the flowers to the gifts and the respectfulness and and you know that that chivalry is not dead type guy cool have that accept that respect that go about your business but you can't say uh, one side of your neck you want the bad boy you want the respectful guy you want the guy who just is like take charge blah 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 and doing all this other stuff but then on the other side of your neck you're just nagging about what you don't have but it's like you picked that person you don't have to be tied to that person you can have anybody you want you're not married <laughs> you know if you want the specific guy then you can get that guy but once once you get that guy whatever kind of guy it is i mean we're talking about now chivalry but whatever type of guy whatever type of personality that is you have that then you can't go and mess that up now granted life happens things happen blah blah but 
beating down the guy who is the nice guy or breaking down the guy who is the sweet guy or not just not just sweet but just like worshiping you and, and, and treating you like a queen and doing all this other stuff if all you're doing is just saying well i don't want any of that he's weak he's lame i got him you know wrapped around my finger then what was the point of you you know complaining and saying all these things that you wanted if all you were going to do was just tear him down because he wasn't broken he could be broken but it the relationship a relationship is not your job to break down the person for being who they are being how they are because that's who they are they are that person because they want to be because they as i said earlier there are some people who still believe in um the old-fashioned way of treating a lady you know the old-fashioned way of being respectful and being sweet and being honest and not what do they say tom cat no <laughs> whatever you want to call it there are some guys who are like that and I always you know never understood the female who would like try to like change or, you know try to like mold that person into being what they wanted to be that's not really a relationship and that's not healthy you didn't you shouldn't not even just in a relationship but you shouldn't want to like change and mold somebody from from being how they are because that's just that's what makes them them that's their essence that's their spark you shouldn't like you shouldn't be in the relationship to just be like oh i'm gonna change him or i'm gonna have him do this that and a third and blah 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 no that's not what it's here for sis i'm sorry you can't or even guys because there are a lot of guys who try to change a female into what you know the 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 dream girl that they want or the dream wife that they want the one who does you know everything they want the one who doesn't complain or doesn't nag or doesn't bitch about this that and the third who doesn't you know feel like that they're that the female is you know crowding their space crowding their you know their style i just i just i just never understood that because to me i just feel like if you want <laughs> if you have that good guy right if you have that good guy who treats you well might be it half-ass shooting you well but who treats you well to the point where you feel like there can be something to blossom in that relationship like that there can be some growth into that relationship that, they, that you could see you know what i'm saying yourself with them two three four years down the line then keep that person because like i said earlier maybe two weeks ago everybody isn't perfect and you don't know you know their journey or what it took for them to get to you know who they are like before you met them they were how they are because of things that happened in life and society social media and relationships and life and parenting parents and stuff like that so it's not your job essentially to like change the person or mold the person into being you know what you want them to be because that's not our job unfortunately you know i think every girl <clears throat> or guy would love 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 to just have that person who does everything they want everything's perfect they have all the shoes all the clothes all the money the guy's nice the girl's sweet blah 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 blah, blah. she cooks he cleans you know all that stuff we want all of that except you have the perfect guy you got the good guy you got the sweet guy the nice guy the guy who caters to you and the guy who you know treats you well and takes you out for date night and cupcake tuesday but at the same time you have all that in this one guy but then you're thinking oh I also want kind of like a badass. I kind of want like a the edge, kind of like a thug. Then you have that too that you want to add to this part of the guy. So you have the sweetness and niceness, the gentlemanness, ness, that's not even a word, and all that fun, lovey, cooey stuff, right? Then you also want to have the the gangster, the thug, the one who kind of like treats you kind of like meh, right? At the same time, you also want somebody to give you space and for you to breathe and miss the person right but then also so you have four things now okay i don't have more hands but you have four things now but at the same time you're like well why 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 does he text me more why doesn't he call me more why is he playing these games i'm too old for this i don't have this i don't have time for that little bus so you want you got the guy who's a foundation guy you want the guy who does all this other extra stuff that causes issues then you want the guy who plays the games and kind of teases with you and try to drive you crazy then you also want the guy who who caters to you and worships you and walks on kisses kisses the ground you walk on you want all that in one man all of that in one guy all of that for this one person to distribute to you all of that for this person to just slave over and and do all these things and bend over backwards but 
-hmm. But at the same time, you're still unhappy. That's that's really where the root is. You want this, you want that, you want this, you want that. You want to put this in this pot. You want to have this guy to have this. You want to have the guy to have that. You want this guy to be this one. But you're still like you're still trying to add to the pot. You're still trying to add more to what is. Like you're just there's just never like there's never enough to go. Like there's never enough to satisfy you essentially. So it's like you got the guy. You got all he. You got all the stuff he. You you want him to have right a job, a car, a house or apartment, education or whatnot. All his teeth, <laughs> all his hair, dresses well, uh, speaks well treats you right you know makes you laugh makes you smile you know do all this other stuff but then you're still like hmm something is missing i need to add this you don't have that well i'm gonna start not treating you how you should be treating well also he does do this but at the same time he's too clingy but then at the same time i want my space but at the same time he doesn't text me enough but at the same time he doesn't call me enough but at the same time i feel like he's playing these games but at the same time it's like well i don't need him i'm my own person at the same time well i still need a man i feel like i need a man I feel like I'm not gonna be without a man. I feel like I can't do anything without a man. But at the same time, I'm a woman. I don't need nobody else. But at the same time, you're like, oh, well, if you do all this stuff and you, you're doing these things, you're doing you, as they say, then I can do me. But then also at the same time, you're like, well, now I feel bad because he's been doing all this stuff from the beginning. He's been the foundation guy since the beginning. Then he stopped what I'm doing. But then you're like, well, he's not stopping, so why should I stop? But then you know, you're playing these back and forth games back and forth back and forth back and forth he does one thing or you think he does one thing and you're like well i'm gonna do this thing you do that thing then he does one thing so then it's not even a relationship anymore which is you're basically just trying to one up each other you're just basically just trying to see who <laughs> who can who can do the most dumbest thing first and not get caught because that's the thing everything y'all do male females whomever everything y'all do comes back in full circle whether it's cheating, whether it's talking to somebody else, whether it's ignoring the person, whether it's treating them badly, whether it's not doing this that you should have done, and all this other stuff, it always comes back in full circle. Whether it's in that same relationship, another relationship, or just a life lesson, it always comes back in full circle. Unfortunately, it's like a boomerang. Life is like a boomerang. The things you do now, or the things you did before, always somehow come back and always somehow pop up later in life, unfortunately, because it's like... This is life. I'm here to mess with you. And right? also at the same time, I'm here to set you straight. But also, more importantly, I'm here to mold you and grow you and, 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 and have you learn from, you know, the previous things, the previous lessons and all the other stuff. So when people say it should be dead, it's not dead. It's just more so on pause. Because like I mentioned earlier in this episode, there are people like i said who are like that but when they do do those things or when they do show the sweetness and the niceness and like their vulnerability it gets crushed on it gets stepped on it gets ignored it gets well i want somebody else and it's it's right you're right it definitely is dead and it shouldn't be <laughs> it would be nice it would be so nice if every girl and every guy could be that type of old-fashioned treatment as they call it whatever that means i don't even know where that terminology came from but it would be nice to not have to worry about if you do let's say you know put yourself out there to this person and show and and they're seeing your vulnerability um when it comes to a relationship or emotions because that's really what it is vulnerability with the relationship is mostly just emotion you're, you're showing them your emotions you're showing them you know your heart you're showing them that hey i can be sweet and sensitive too and here i am you know giving myself to you but when they do that whether it's male or female we're talking about men now when the men do that it kind of gets like oh he's too sensitive he's too sweet i need somebody else he kind of borders me like i need like a challenge but then we're also saying i wish i could find somebody who was catering to my every need and you know who listens and i can talk to and i can feel like you know my emotions and my feelings actually matter but then you're like oh he's too clingy he's too needy i don't want to deal with that i need somebody who's kind of like who like leaves me alone and kind of like ignores me and kind of like keeps on me at the same time then that's that's attractive but then i'm like oh i'm so tired of getting cheated on just like every guy i meet you know they i just get cheated on 
but then you're like oh everything's too plain everything's too boring i need some action then you get the action <laughs> then you get the drama and it's like i can never find a good man so it's like it's like it's like a never-ending loop of confusion that's the best way <coughs> excuse me for me to explain it. it's like a loop of confusion like I, you, i'm not just saying anybody in general just nobody knows what they want it's like they want one thing and then 30 seconds later they want a thousand other things and they're trying to like i said earlier kind of like mold the person <laughs> into right exactly mold the person into what they want girls and guys do it but like i said we're talking about guys right you like case in point i had somebody that i was talking to i don't know how long ago it was and i'm like ah oh, i don't like these i don't like these dating apps i don't understand the point of these dating apps they're just so stupid and it's a waste of money and not money but like a waste of an app like they never work because like they claim they work but they don't i had somebody this is before covid um who i guess in my mind was like decent enough for me to i guess talk to because I, I didn't get then but now but then i wasn't as dated and as i don't really care more so not trying to be cool and whatever i'm just like i don't have like now i just i don't have the mental capacity you know what i'm saying to deal with, with people because it's just like oh, there's so much work i don't understand but anyway this person seemed to be somewhat decent somewhat you know um worth my time now i'm not trying to be a diva but just like you know you can just get that vibe from somebody who you feel like okay even though this is a dating app even though this is new for me or i don't really follow it blah 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 let me try it out so they were nice they were sweet you know they did the whole um let me call you back <laughs> let me text you not for three days but like in an hour type of thing um and let me actually like show you that i actually want to talk to you and not run all these games on you and and make you feel like you know you're not you're not heard because i actually do care about you that's the thing i never understood guys can do all these things at the same time they're like oh i care about you blah blah blah, blah. but i'm like you're doing all this extra stuff that's what boils down to you're doing all this extra stuff if you like the person just 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 be with the person why y'all girls and guys why like why are you playing all these games i just i just i never understood that like if you like somebody i'm going back to like like second grade third grade um knowledge if <laughs> you say you like somebody right like you like like them and you want to be with them and you say i'm asking you out or she says i'm asking you out and you're all like together y'all are together you already got the hard part out you already got the playing the games out and all the issues and the worrying and the back and forth and the butterflies out the way y'all together now and then when y'all get together girls and guys y'all are still playing these games like i like i don't understand to to the point where it just boggles my soul like if you want to be with somebody you're with them you got the girl you got the guy you wanted why are y'all still playing games i'm not trying to be like funny I'm just i genuinely like i said it boggles my soul like i don't understand aren't you i don't get it anyway i lost track but yeah so they were doing the blah blah, blah they were doing the thing whatever and then <coughs> after a while and I think I mentioned this too a couple of episodes ago. I felt like it's just like something, it's just something is not there. Like something is missing. Like something he's not doing. Like not like some bad. Just I feel like there's just something that he's not. Like there's just something. Then I'm like, well, the whole point of these dating apps, you're supposed to get off these apps, according to what the website said. But I'm like, well, let me let me just keep the app open. You can still talk to most people because you're not like tied down. You know what I'm saying? Like you're still talking to people. And then, I swear it's like clockwork how it always happens. As soon <laughs> as soon as I started talking more to people on the apps, this fool kind of just like disappeared. I mean, like poof, disappeared like a ghost. Like I don't even know what happened. Literally definition of ghosting and i didn't even say anything i wasn't like oh we should um you know how girls say keep the options open or blah 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 we're still in the app it's still new all i did was <laughs> kind of like reach for more than what was needed and continue talking to other people at the same time that i guess somehow the universe or somehow god was like mm, nah you're going to 
you're already in the beginning <clears throat> already trying to talk and do all this lie stuff let me take him out the way because you know he's he doesn't need that he doesn't deserve that i'm like i, I and literally just disappeared just ghosted i i don't even know what happened i'm like womp and from how i was then to how i am now now i won't like i'm not one of those people to like to like double text to like text back multiple times if we're still talking like we're in that talking phase like not even dating but like if we're in that talking phase and let's say we're talking for like like three months you know you're still, you're still getting to know the person you know i still i still say it takes years to know somebody but you're still getting to know that person right and if it's like two three months we're talking and you just disappear okay now this is me now how i was before it was a whole different story but how i am now if you just disappear i'm like okay life happens things happen you know we're adults we're working even though we're home with covid uh we're still doing stuff if you disappear you'll text back eventually but before when that would happen like a year or some change ago i'll be like texting like why are you not writing me back where did you go i thought you were different i thought you were not like everybody else you said you were different blah blah blah, 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 blah. just like a bunch of emotion just bleh, just like bleh, spooling out and i realized how crazy how crazy that really looks There's nothing wrong again with being emotional with, with being vulnerable and with being um like having feelings but when you get to the point like if you're just talking to somebody for like two three weeks right and if they don't text you back in like 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 five ten minutes or if they don't text you back in a day or two this is me now how was before was different but this is me now um it's okay <laughs> right it's okay you aren't and i hate to sound like this but like you aren't the center of their attention nobody should be it's your mama or your family or your child whatever but if the person doesn't text you back and y'all only been talking say two three months right just talking not dating just talking because you're still talking you're not dating anybody yet it's all right i promise you i don't think that they're they're leaving i don't think that they're disappearing now granted if they like leave if they disappear for like a month <laughs> maybe you need to find somebody else but if it's like a couple of days and it's still in the two three months sis it's okay you'll be all right i promise you because then and this is how I was like I said then now I'm not I'm like nah but um because it's not worth it the energy the mental capacity it's like with all that's going on even if it wasn't COVID now I'm like I don't like why am I going back and forth with somebody I've only been talking to for like two three months like it, it's not a good look sis you know what I'm saying so I feel like how it was before like I said I would be like why are you not texting me back? Why are you not doing this? I thought we were to, whatever. I thought you were different. You know, emotions, emotions just spilling out in the text messages. Um, mind you, this is all through a text. So you know how we are now when we get messages from our parents or older people or whatever. You get like this whole novel and you're like, I ain't gonna read this. I'm not reading this. I, I'm not reading it. Cause it's like just words. Like I said, <laughs> it is how it was before. Now, if you don't text back or if it's whatever or if it's like three four days of whatever i'm just be like okay cool and it's not to be funny it's not to be like a badass it's just more so like there's no point of me um like there's no point of me giving all this energy if you're not going to appreciate it, it goes both ways and if you're not going to send anything back because eventually if you want to talk to the person you'll talk to the person if you don't then you just you just won't talk you, they just won't talk to you so you have to get to the point when you are just okay with if this may not work out it's cool because not a lot of invested it's only been two three months but um if <laughs> right exactly it feels like it's too much of a give than a take you know what i'm saying like it's different if y'all been talking for like 10 months okay granted you're warranted to be annoyed after three four days but if you just met the person off an app and y'all been talking for like a month or two and they don't text back for three four days like i said if they're gone for like two months that's different <laughs> when if they don't talk back for two three days it's okay i promise you now my um audio thingy on anchor is about to stop again because 30 minutes so i'm gonna pause this and then continue my rant
in a minute, so hold on. I swore I wasn't going to make this three episodes, but it, clearly I had a lot to say. <laughs> so. Alright, so, um, wait a minute. So, that talking time is a time to get to know someone. If you lose interest, then you lose interest. That's how people are supposed to go through that phase. Exactly. Yes, you are supposed to. My thing about to die. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm having a little difficult to use. Um, to try to do cool yeah so you, you are supposed to go through um that phase of talking and getting to know the person and um talking getting to know the person because you can't unless they got some like houdini magic or they got some fairly odd parents magic um y'all can't be that attached in two three months like i like it's just it's literally impossible something unless they got some type of rap I don't understand like you can't you can't be attached that quick now again like I said there's no knock against people who have their emotions here but it, it's a difference between having your emotions here and being mindful of reality now, I don't mean to be harsh because I know it probably sounds a little jaded how I sound could be could be because I just don't care could be because my mental capacity is this much this big but it's more so you gotta look at it from a bigger scale. You know what I'm saying? It comes from being older. It comes from life. And it comes from from realizing that you can't you can't change people. You'd like to. <laughs> Lord knows you would like to. But you can't, unfortunately. And one of my where did I hear this from? One of my brother's friends, like two, three years ago, and this has stuck with me since then, she said it's simple, but she said, you can't force somebody to be with you. Either they want to be with you, or they don't want to be with you. You can't, um, uh, exactly. Thank you. Oh, and I have, can't really see it. I don't know if I can turn my phone. And it's new, too. <laughs> um, yeah. So she said, um, yeah, it's simple. She said, you can't force somebody to be with you. Either they want to be with you, or they don't want to be with you. And after a while, you have to come to the realization that, it shouldn't be this hard like a relationship shouldn't be this hard you know what i'm saying like if um y'all married that's different of course you gotta fight you gotta fight for it you gotta work together and blah 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 all that fun stuff whatever but if like y'all just dating and it's like six months it shouldn't be like i sound so i sound so jaded i sound so mean i, I apologize for those who are listening who are kind of like how I'm describing I really mean no disrespect but you just gotta understand where I'm coming from a person who has literally dealt with from A to Z every kind of man from A to Z every kind of personality from A to Z every type of situation that you can think of <laughs> I've been in so I may sound a little jaded I may sound a little annoyed I may sound kind of like you know what's love got to do with it but it's more so I hope I may not be doing it right, but more so trying to come to come off to the point of you got to learn to pick your battles. That's really what it boils down to. Like I said, how I am now and how I was then was different. And with that guy, it just he just disappeared. I'm like, what the heck happened? Because you think you're building a connection, you know, that's what you're supposed to be doing with these apps. You want to build that connection. And it just was random and I wasn't expecting it because I'm like, I don't get how you can like I never understood you know how somebody can do that to a person girl or guy that you can be talking having connection blah blah blah, blah and they just disappear it's like rude well why even come in the first place you know what i'm saying like what's the point of you being here it's going to disappear i would just skip from the being here part and just go to the part of disappearing because it saves both people's time it saves both people's energy and it just doesn't make sense if if you're just gonna you know come into the life and, and just disappear this is what i was thinking back then like i just never understood who can do that and i've never been a person to well, i try not to be maybe i have but never been a person to ghost i guess the word now is ghost back then it was just ignored but <laughs> to ghost to ghost somebody because i just never like because i knew what that feeling felt like so I didn't want to put that on somebody because karma is crazy and I didn't want that back. I'm one of those people, I'm working on it, but I've tried one of those people who be like, 
no this ain't gonna work i'm sorry maybe we can be friends or maybe we can slow things down that's kind of my safest bet <laughs> that's kind of like my safe word the maybe we can slow things down because then you kind of can stick, take a step back get the emotions out of your eyeballs and kind of look at it from the full picture and kind of say, say to yourself is this something you want to do with is this somebody you want versus having like um all the emotion here all the emotion just blah, 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 spilling out and you're just like confused and left hurt when things don't go your way that was always my big thing i always didn't like when things went my way and i never understood how people can't be like me <laughs> that was the thing like how people can't just be happy and, and, and sweet and energetic and just like want to give love but like i said and i always say and keep saying it again you don't know the person's life you don't know the person's journey and the steps they took before they met you to get there that's what i'm saying you can't you, like you don't know the person that they are before you what it took to get to get them where they are life happens things happen relationships happen so now going back to that story now i'm more so like um um what do you call it um just like pick and choose your battle well battle sounds like an argument but more so it's more so pick and choose what you want to deal with what what you'll give your mental space that's really what it is because your mental space can only take so much she only takes so much and i feel like if it's if it's um not being pulled but um given and giving too much too much things to deal with at once it's going to overload it's going to overdrive and i feel like if you i mean as you're older and it depends on the situation like i said every situation is not the same every person is not the same every um interaction is not the same but if you get if you try to give what's worth it try to give what needs to be given given <laughs> think, give it, given then i think in the end you'll be not happy but you'll be a little bit more satisfied with yourself as a person because if you're always feeling like you're giving yourself and giving all and giving your heart giving your soul giving your mind giving your spirit giving your emotions and all you're getting is just a womp in return it gets draining uh, or more so tiring and more so like is this really for me then you start questioning you know is this really for me is this thing that i want to do and i feel like when we get to that point at um such a young age the young millennial generation 20 25 26 27 28 30 it's like it's not that serious dude now if you're younger like between like 15 16 17 13 14 whatever okay you can have that puppy love you're entitled to have all that emotion you're entitled to feel like oh my god the world is ending because we're not talking anymore it's only been three days you're entitled to have that because you're young you don't know any better that's what love is that's the first love type of thing but when you get older i feel like it comes to a point where you're just like why am i dealing with this is it really worth it like what happens should happen and when it happens will happen so i don't really think having um having um what do you call it all these expectations so fast puts too much unnecessary pressure on both parties if that makes sense um so are you more guarded early or do you have all of them jump well hold on wait I, the other comments in the comment is <laughs> your comments do get love and i'm not trying to ignore i'm just reading the other people are just asking questions that's all um says so are you more guarded early or do you have all from the I, this is gonna sound bad i don't want to sound bad because like i said there are people there who have like emotions i i do have emotions but they're more checked now that's the best way to say it like i try to keep them in check because like i said before and i said this in the last episode my emotions literally used to be right here on the fingertips and i just wasn't getting me anywhere with what i wanted or what i thought i wanted so i'm like this needs to be adjusted a little bit <laughs> that makes sense so when i guess before covid because i guess it's the best way to describe it because nothing's happening now um and i wouldn't want nothing to happen now because it's covid but um before covid when you say it was like guarded early um even with the last person i was talking to it wasn't or when we first started talking it um 
I, my thing is, I guess my fault that I have as as as, as Lana, as a Leo, I guess. And the funny thing is, I'm not. I'm a Leo, but I'm not like my sign. If that makes sense, like I'm more shy, I'm more of an introvert. I'm kind of like a people watcher. I'm not like lying, roar all in your face. But for me, my thing would be before when I would have my my feelings out like right here. I would always, you know, be upset, blah, 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 my feelings, blah, 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 then get over it. And then be like, well, you know, let me pick myself back up again, try this again, and try to give the person or the, the, the next person more so the benefit of the doubt because they're not that person before, you know, who who did what they did. So I'm like, let me not go in with this with clause. <laughs> let me go in this with an open mind, but a smart one at the same time because everybody isn't what they are or what they seem, you know? So... It's not so much, like I said, it's different. It's really night and day with me. Now, it's not so much I have my guard up. It's just more so like I don't have, I keep saying this, but it's really true, <laughs> fortunately. I just, I don't see myself having the mental capacity to deal with anybody who requires feedback, if that makes sense. Like, I, like, my guard is up. It's more so just like, if you want to talk to me, let's talk. If you don't want to talk to me, then don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do the dance, the people dance, uh, trying to get past that weird, awkward stage of getting to know people, and then it just doesn't go anywhere. Like, it just is a dud. They just ghost you. You ghost them, or you realize that there's no conversation. Like, you're just talking about the same basic thing, like, you know, how are you? How's your day? Or good evening, good afternoon. And then it's like, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days in between, you're like, I don't even know what I was talking about. Because not that you just are trying to be cool or trying to be a badass but it's more so it's just like if you can't give the respect even for five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes of keeping <clears throat> that stimulus conversation going why text me that makes sense it's like i me per se is more so like or maybe so where i am now my life i guess would be love whatever that is more so like i would like I don't mind having like I, I, I don't even know like I haven't even thought about um doing that whole thing I just I don't first of all it's COVID <laughs> like, where are you going what are you doing now, nobody's going nowhere it's just I'm, I'm not it's COVID I don't know you I don't know who you've been around blah 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 and to the point with, with the COVID thing I got tired of trying to explain to people even people on these apps they just were still trying to live their life and do their thing. But I'm like, it's still COVID, dude. I'm not, I live with, you know, my parents are in the age category, so I'm not going to put them at risk to have a cup of coffee. Where you can't even have a cup of coffee because you have to have your mask on. <laughs> no, it didn't make sense. Now, um, for those people who do, like, those virtual dates, I never understood the point of that because I'm like, you're still on a computer. You're still on a device. You can still, you know, have 25 toes and one leg. Like, you can still be trying to hide stuff. But me i just am like whatever <laughs> it's kind of like i'm kind of like the wind now i'm kind of like the wind what was it the colors of the wind like pocahontas said goes with the flow flows with the flow that's really it i would say i i don't know if my guard's up it's just more so just like my bullshit their mom their mom their bullshit monitor is up that's more so what it is like i can kind of see where this is going or where this is not going and what i'm going to deal with and what you know, I'm not going to deal with, and what's the point of it, and what's not the point of it, and, like, is it worth my time, you know, that's what it comes to, because it's all about time now with me, what's worth my time, what isn't worth my time, what's worth the energy, what isn't worth the energy, and if you, if I can see or feel that you aren't worth any of those three, two things, I can't, it's just, I don't see it, because I have too much, there's too much other stuff that I can be focusing on, and too much other things that require myself, <laughs> the texting games and the playing the games and trying to see oh if i wait two three four five days and not text her i'll have her now or I just no <laughs> i'm sorry maybe three four years ago but now i'm just like nah so some people kind of say i'm kind of jaded and kind of like a bitch i might be but it's all out of love it's all out of more so like you gotta realize what you'll tolerate and what you won't tolerate when you get to the point where you're okay with cutting people off and not feeling that some type of way and you're okay with not dealing with the bullshit and being like, okay, that's cool. I'll find, not nah, you'll find somebody else, but like this person was not meant for me. And this person was like, you know, a season 
because everything's a season nowadays you know what i'm saying so when you get to that point it's like okay you know life does go on i really promise you really boo boo life does go on everything doesn't just stop a drop of a dime when a relationship ends now granted if it's a relationship for like seven years of course it was like under that six month bracket you can't possibly have gotten attached that much it might be like annoying like you're entitled to feel annoyed or like not frustrated but like oh well damn that happened so you're entitled to feel annoyed but i feel like every man is the same you know i feel like your heart's been ripped out you know and again i always say a lot can happen in those six months a lot can happen in a month a lot can happen in a day a lot can happen with one phone call or one text one video one tweet one post but to put so much stock in somebody or a person that you met a on an app and b that you really haven't um like developed or ground or put your feet in the ground of that um, foundation yet it's really just going to set you up for for feeling bad and feeling a disaster and feeling like oh this always happens and you're like in this never-ending loop my thing is to put as much stock in them as you would want somebody to put in you that makes sense like the expectations the level of what you want the energy it has to match if you're doing all of this and they're doing this or vice versa then there's no there's no really point of doing it because it's not matching you're doing all of this and they're doing the bare minimum or you're doing all of this and they're here and sometimes you gotta be careful too because i've had this happen to me <laughs> sometimes when you're doing all of this buying things for them treating them well you know buying lavish birthday gifts and, and always paying and doing all this other stuff then they realize they only have to do this and that's just what they're going to give because they know you'll cover the last 20 percent of the relationship but the last 20 percent of the um dynamic because if you're doing all of this already in the beginning the first three four five six months then they know that all they have to do is just this and you're good because they know you'll you have all this covered all this part covered where as it should be here here equals we're all equals nobody's better than anybody else we're all here everybody so that's also a thing you have to be careful with too is nothing wrong with showing the person that you care and affection and blah 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 but if you're doing all this stuff in the beginning then um exact people get comfortable and you don't want to get comfortable so quick you know we know the jack yet so I don't really see, you know, where that can go besides you being upset, being broke, and being angry. <laughs> That's really what it is. Because you do money, you spend money, you spend time, spend energy. And if they're giving you 20% and you're giving them 80, then I don't you know if that math really adds up. You know what I'm saying? So that is just my two cents with that, as I say. I just feel like nowadays, even before COVID, because I always say life was life <laughs> before COVID that um you nothing wrong with like you don't be you don't want to get too comfortable with somebody so quickly because like i said they get comfortable with you and i think that you need to be more aware of your energy and how much you're giving it out because everybody doesn't warrant all your energy everybody doesn't warrant all your love and your affection and your time and your money especially you don't need to do that but um, it, it needs to be, you need to be more aware, I believe, of um, what you'll give out, what you won't give out, the time you're giving, the time you're not giving, and all the other stuff. Because in the end, even though they don't realize it, even though people don't say it, you're the one who suffers because you feel like, man, I'm giving out all this, doing all this, buying all this, and all this, trying all this, being this person, being what they want. And at the same time, all I'm getting is like a hang. <laughs> So you gotta be careful you have to be careful everybody isn't always out for your best interest and everybody isn't always wanting to um you know be like that guy be like that person you know because like i said if they see you doing most of the work why would they do it <laughs> you know why would they do the work if you're doing a percent of it why do they need to do anything but just be there but just be you know but just be a body you know what i'm saying so I just believe that when they say it's chivalry dead, chivalry, 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 here we go. <laughs> it's chivalry dead. No, like I said earlier, it's just paused. I mean, because 
people just don't see or people are just fed up of you know doing all the chivalry things and doing all the night shining armor things and just getting stomped and trampled on that's just what it is there are people like i said out there who are that and who want to give that to that special person but they're not going to give it out to anybody like some candy they want to give it out to the specific person who they know will appreciate it because all really what it is a relationship is appreciation communication and attentiveness and if they feel like they're not being appreciated or their actions and the way they move and groove you know isn't being appreciated then why you know why give it out that's just bad luck that's just that's just dumb <laughs> you know that doesn't make sense and i just think that we as women females whatever you want to call are so quick to be like well you know <clears throat> Excuse me, I want you to worship the ground I walk on, walk on. I want you to treat me like a queen. I want you to buy me this, buy me that. I want you to pull up my chair. I want you to buy everything. I want you to talk to nobody else, do nothing else but just worship me. But, again, like I said earlier, talking out of the side of your neck, you can't also want them to... You can't also say, oh, they're too easy. He's a pushover. He's lame. He's weak. He's this. He's that. But no. <laughs> no, sis. He's doing what you asked him to do, essentially. He's doing what you want. You know, if that's a guy who's listening, that's a guy who's hearing, hey, she likes this. She likes flowers. She likes the night and shine armor thing. But you can't, you can't get it and be like, oh, my God, I don't want this anymore. This person is too lame, too weak, and he's, I need somebody who's a roughneck. I don't know if it works that way. You can't have everything. Unfortunately, we can't have everything. I, I wish we could, but we can't. So I just feel like you need more mindful of what we ask for, you know, and the energy that we put out there because, like I said, so you can't have everything. <laughs> that's, really what, that's really what it comes down to. You can't have everything, anything and everything. Um, again, and I always say this, I just feel like every episode now going forward is just going to be be an hour and some change. Um, but I'm not going to make this one um, a full two hours because that's what I almost had last time. It was like, a, it was like an hour, 15 minutes. But I actually am dying of thirst because <laughs> I've been talking so much. But I just feel like Shivri is not dead. But I'm like, oh my rant. Shivri is just pause. It's just pause. And it, it probably will be some gems still out there who have that tendency to be the old school fashion um casanova it just really depends on who you come across and how you deal with it when you have it is what it is because the triple effect the triple effect the ripple effect that you have on the person really will go to the next person whether you realize it or not what they do for you determines there we go can't even talk today what they'll do for the next person if y'all don't work out how you treat that person how you react to that person's doings and beings and bindings will be how they treat the next person so you gotta keep that in mind what you do to bob bob will do to sue sue will do to dave and dave will do to jan so you gotta be mindful everything somehow some way does connect in one way or another and if you're messing over and treating bob wrong then bob would be dog and sand uh what did i say what was her name susan now i think i'm making my names now susan now and then susan would feel like well this is how it should be treated so she'll treat steve like a like a man and then steve would be like man like all i am is just a whip boy so so steve will, will treat Teresa like um the queen she is but then she won't be aware of this is how i'm supposed to be treated so she'll walk over him and then he'll leave Teresa, and then steve would, would treat stacy as you know a dog so it's a ripple effect unfortunately <laughs> stating game it's a jungle sometimes it really is you just gotta be careful with what you do if you leave with nothing else in my rant <laughs> but if you leave with nothing else in this podcast but this it really is in my life in my experience in my opinion it really is these five things relationships boys men females girls chivalry gentleness ladies night and shine armor blah 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 casanova it really is these five things. It is acceptance because they're, you're accepting this is, this is who they are. You're not trying to change them. This is how you're supposed to be treated. And this is what's right, right? Appreciation, appreciative of what the men or the females are doing for you and, and knowing and being respectful that this is how they are. So you should treat them with the same respect they're treating you, right? So you have appreciation, communication. 
I always say it is communication, not just relationship, but with life is clutch, is key. It solves and dismisses and demolishes and diminishes a lot of arguments and things get, you know, spoken out clearly and heard. Clarity, same thing, communication. If once things are cleared and once things have clarity and once, you know, topics and conversations and beings or whatever have clarity, then there's less drama because once you understand the situation and once there's communication with the situation, then, you know, you um, have a better shot at it being something, right? And then the last thing is um, understanding understanding that you can't change a person understand that you can't mold a person understand that this is who they are and you're either going to accept it or not you can't be wanting so much from one person and then missing the fact that this is how they are and this is who they are and this is what they're going to be that you just walk all over them to the next person because then you're not doing anything different you're doing the same thing over and over again so it's a girl it's a guy to the next person and so on and so forth so i would just don't ask me to repeat those kind of things. I don't even know what I said, but just in my life, <laughs> that is my things. Out of all those five things, my favorite one is communication because communication is key with whatever it is, whether it's through text, communication, better talk on the phone, whether it's through the phone, sometimes better to see the person in person, and whether it's in person, sometimes you might just need the space. But once you have that communication and both parties voice out their opinions and voice out what they want to talk about, then things are better. Life is better. <laughs> The energy is not wasted for nothing. There. So, <laughs> leave it nothing but those five things. Ask me to repeat them. I can't. But listen to the last part I said about communication. That is key because I know I've mentioned that in a couple episodes. And it will save relationships, communication. And it will save you from a lot of um, arguments too. So, <laughs> to wrap this up. Because again, I'm not making this another 30 minutes like I normally do. But yeah, so recap since i haven't really been doing the recaps i'm trying to give you all a break from me ranting about the same thing every day or every week episode of pure sessions airs every sunday at 6 p.m eastern standard time live on ig underline and pure's corner under my ig stories and live on youtube underline and pure and you can find all the episodes there and all my music and all the different things there i decided like i said earlier in the episode to do to boost up this page give it some more tlc line pure's corner because i kind of was like forgetting about this page i kind of really wasn't um uh kind of really wasn't um not, i don't want to say ignoring the page but i made two pages because i was noticing a lot of business people had two different pages with their main page and like what they were doing like business brand page and i noticed that i wasn't really doing too much in this page i wasn't like building up my following up my networks and all this stuff so my brand my, my platform so I decided to do two pages. So this one is really mostly for now, more so, for um, the podcast and the episode. So you can see that. So it's strictly... Oh, I think I paused. Okay. And um, on Lana and Pure's page... Um, oh, no, sorry. You can't. <laughs> I actually have some stuff to do with my mom, so I'm going to be busy tonight, but rain check. Um, yeah, my main page, Lana and Pure, is mostly for um, music and um mainstream things but again i'm not really on social media like that anymore i think it's a waste of time the only reason why i'm on it is because i'm doing this so i'm only on it um once a week <laughs> so that's kind of how i'm like cleansing myself and it feels good i don't miss anything i don't need it you know it is what it is so not in pure's corner episodes every sunday live on ig and instagram I'm um, sorry, <laughs> IG, Instagram, and YouTube, and also on Anchor, I do the audio, and then it distributes once I publish it to Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple, um, Google, all the places you listen to, YouTube, all the places you listen to your podcast. but yes, every Sunday, so I hope you guys enjoyed my rant, <laughs> I hope you guys learned something from it, you know, listen to the beginning, it kind of was more profound than I was at the end, but um, I appreciate you guys who, who come on and listen every week it really means a lot i'm still learning and growing but i appreciate all of you guys but yes have a blessed blessed sunday and enjoy the rest of your week and try to do something outside try to do something different you didn't do the day before but yes thank you guys for tuning in and i hope you guys enjoyed my episode and stay tuned for next week because i got some more stuff in the works <laughs> but no yes thank you guys again you really are my true people 
But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and stay blessed and be blessed, all right? <laughs>